bought some new pens and I thought, oh, you know what? I should share. <laughs> um, these are going to be covered last. So everybody, I, I make no secret my love of Pentel Energel pens. Um, <laughs> I bought some turquoise ones with the clear barrels and I was like, oh, wow, I really like those. So then I bought a pack of colors. My husband actually stole the turquoise one already out of it. Um, and I pulled the black one out. So there's the black blue ink in it, blue, orange, tur turquoise, and black, of course. Um, yeah, I have all 0.5, which was awesome. I don't need these, but I can't stop. I can't stop myself. So those. Then I ordered these, and I don't know, this was a weird Amazon purchase, and I'll, I'll share a link. 0.5 black ink gel pens made in China. They are um, Dun Dunbong. So I liked the look of them and I was like, well, I'm super curious because I know a lot of times Chinese, Japanese pens come with really good ink. So this is them. They're very matte, like a smooth matte. I know you guys can't feel that, but I kind of like how simple they are. So, of course, I pulled the purple one out, and of course, of course I did. I pulled the purple one out, and it is a standard, it's a .5, but it is a standard, oh, it looks like there's still some gunk on there. Um, It's not the, it's not the uh, needle tip. I don't know that that matters. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys what these are like. Let me find a piece of paper. This is standard boring 20 pound. This is not stuff we like in our journals. Um, but it's a great pen test paper because you really see like on everyday copy paper. So it writes really smooth. Like it's a really smooth pen. And I was like, oh, those are kind of nice. I, I, again, maybe I'll take them to work so that way if, they get stolen. It's not that I don't even remember how much I paid. These pens I paid. It looks like thirteen ninety nine for five of them. Once I get to these, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> uh, you can get them on subscribe and save, which is really interesting to me because I mean I guess if you like them every couple of months, if you if you write a lot. So the other test I want to do is highlighting. So hold on. It's so funny, like. There's a there's a little bit of smear. A little bit. Let me let me try this again. Wow, I can't even. Nope, can't even. I grabbed the gray one just to see. I mean, it's so minimal. Let's see what the Pentel does. Because the Pentel typically doesn't do anything for me. I have to say, I think that that Dunbong might be smoother. I would say it's about the same. Maybe a little, little less. But you guys saw I highlighted right away. You wait a second. And a lot of times, I'll write the multiple things down and then highlight. Or I write it down and then I highlight when it gets done. I don't always write and highlight right away. So something to think about. Okay. I will post a link to these if you're interested. They're just Amazon. Five of them for 14 bucks. So less $3, less than $3 a pen. I should leave my purple one out. I'm using the purple one. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I want this video to be quick and I'm totally not making it quick. Let's, let's talk about these pens. So one of the things you might not know about me is I'm a huge Pluto fan, which makes it really awesome because there's not a ton of Pluto stuff out there. I can tell you some great stories of people trying to hunt Pluto stuff down for me. But I was in, it was the Coffee Monster Co. group and because they are crazy about pen, the, the Klenas, they just go crazy over them. And somebody had posted a picture of these and I was like, oh my God, it's Pluto in my favorite pen. Well, how did I not know about this? I didn't know about it because it's an exclusive to Disney Store Japan. 
I bought these off of Stationery Station. There's some numbers after it in the web address. I will post a link to that as well. Um, and I haven't opened them. I've been waiting. Oh, it's a resealable bag. I have been waiting for this video to open them. I, I don't know why, but I was. So they, in the best part, they are 0.5, which just, I was like, yes, I don't even have to switch inks or anything. Now, I, I contemplated not keeping Mickey and Minnie or seeing if somebody had gotten the set who was a big Mickey Minnie fan and wanted to trade for Pluto. But um, as of right now, I'm, I think I'm keeping Mickey and Minnie. I don't, I don't think I'll change. You know, I have to check to make sure it writes the same. Yes, so this is my new pen, and this is my new everyday, all the time pen. <laughs> uh, like I've been using the Clenas, I like the barrels, and I've been I I use. It's funny because over here, this is what I typically use to write out um, thank yous on invoices. I have a pilot that has, I'm pretty sure that's pilot ink in it that I've been using just randomly too, but it smears. I can I will show you. I mean, I film an update on my work bullet journal and I used this to draw lines and it was a disaster. Since I bought this, I was kind of using this. So I always have pens floating on my desk, but I have a pen that I typically take with me or is my go-to and it's going to be this guy. However, can we talk about the fact that I don't love the color of the barrel? Why didn't they put him on red <laughs> or blue? Why did Mickey and Minnie get red and blue? Why is Pluto on brown? So I thought about, because I'm ridiculous, I thought about swapping out the bottom barrel, because they're the same. These are all the same. The grippers are the same. There's like no difference in these grippers. So I thought about swapping a white one out or actually trying to find, which is going to be ridiculous too, because I have... Guys, hold on. I just had it in my hand the other day. I think it's over here. Yep. I have a red Pentel. Like, I red doesn't work. This is too bright of a red. But I was like, wonder if I have a pink one somewhere. I don't think I do yellow, but I bet if I if I had a pink one, and I know, I know I've seen pink, but I think it might have a white gripper. I'm going to probably look around October because everybody comes out with their pink pens for breast cancer and see if I can't, because that's the only thing. I, it doesn't bother me as much, but yeah, little things. So that's it. This one. Oh, I want to tell you. Okay. So I'm going to send you a link. It's a Japanese store that I bought them from. Um, it was super easy. I didn't feel like, I don't know. Sometimes I worry about purchasing from overseas, especially language barriers alone, but that store was awesome. I would totally buy from them again, except I paid $15 for three pens. Five bucks a pen, right? That's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. I paid $30 in shipping and that was the cheapest option. <laughs> oh, they came DHL through the post office and they got here within, I think it was less than a week. So it was $30 was super fast, but oh, I paid $45. So what's that? $15 a pen? Um, for Pluto, worth it, 100%, no regrets, I'm happy. But I just want you to, full disclosure there, be, if you're going to go searching for the special edition Pentel pens, be prepared to pay some shipping. Um, I don't know if I could have gotten it cheaper. I I, I found it, I ordered, it was out of stock, and I just checked randomly, and it was back in stock, and I ordered them. Like, I didn't even hesitate, because it's Pluto. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. This is it. Just a little fun update. I will have the link for the stationery store on these. I don't know if they have other limited editions. They might. I just zeroed in on this, on these three, on this three pack. And then I'll also throw a link up to the, uh, Dun, Dun, Dun Bong. I don't, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and I think, it, I think these were Amazon too. So I'll make sure I add a link in there for those. Anyway, that's all guys. Just a quick little update. Kind of an in-between video. I hope you have a great day and uh, be kind. Bye.